What's up, everybody? So we're going to be starting the test now. Here we go. The first question. So the point negative 6 and 3 is on the graph of y equals f of x. Find the corresponding point on y equals 5f bracket negative 3x plus 12 minus 6. Okay, so let's uh, draw this out in a little nicer form. So we have a parent function, some kind of parent function. We don't know what it is. It doesn't have to be one of the basic parent functions that you discussed in class, whether it's x squared, square root of x. It could be any function. All we know is that on this parent function in this question, this coordinate is on it. And then this parent function gets transformed to this. And then we need to find what that transform point is going to be. Now, in order to do that, we have to make sure that the transform function is in this form here. And if you look at what we're given, it's almost in that form, except for inside the bracket. Notice how this k here is by itself, while this k is attached to the x. So what we have to do is we need to, inside the bracket, factor out whatever is attached to the x. So the negative 3 is attached to the x, so we have to factor that out. And we would be left with x, and then positive 12 divided by negative 3, we're taking out the negative 3, would give us negative 4. So just be careful with your signs here. Because you took out a negative, the sign switches and then you have minus six. And now we have our transform function in the general format that we need it in. And now we can figure out what's the A value, what's the K value, what's the D value, what's the C value. So let's figure out what those are here on the side. So we can tell that the A value is five, K value is negative three, the d value is 4, and this is the tricky part of the question. A lot of times students will say the d value is um, negative 12 here. Remember, you always switch the signs for the d value, but it's not because after you factor out the negative 3, you're left with a minus 4 here, so your d value is going to be positive 4. And then the c value is going to be this negative 6. And if you remember, before we get into our specific point, any point on a parent function, it gets transformed with the formula x over k plus d, and then ay plus c. So if we apply uh, this formula on this point with these transformation values, what we're going to get is we're going to have negative 6, which is the x value, divided by the k value of negative 3 plus the d value of 4. And then for the y coordinate, we're going to have the a value 5 times the y value of 3 plus the c value of negative 6, so it's just minus 6 here. And then let me put this negative 6 here in brackets. So this negative 6 in brackets is this initial x-coordinate. So then when you simplify all of this, negative 6 divided by negative 3 is positive 2. Positive 2 plus 4 gives you 6. And then 5 times 3 is 15. 15 minus 6 gives you 9. So that there is your final answer. So if negative 6 and 3 is on y is equal to f of x, then the corresponding transform point is going to be 6 and 9, and that's going to be on the function y equals 5f of negative 3x plus 12 minus 6. Now also, a quick point I want to make about this question before finishing off the video is that this point, negative 6 and 3, was on the parent function in this question, and then we have to transform it uh, to the transform function. However, there are questions, we went over a question like this, where they can give you the point on the transform function. 
And then you have to go backwards. You have to find what's the point going to be, what's the original point on the parent function. So the way that would be different is you would still have your formulas. You'd still have the same formula. So you would have x over negative 3 um, plus 4 for the x values, right? x over k plus d. And then you would have 5y minus 6 ay plus c for the y values. But you would make this whole expression equal to negative 6 and then you would solve for this x value which is the original x value on the parent function and then same thing here you would make that whole expression equal to 3 and then solve for that y value so when you do that you would end up getting negative 6 you bring the 4 over it'd be negative 10 cross multiply negative 10 times negative 3 so you'd get an x value of 30 and for this one, you bring this over, be 9, 9 divided by 5, so the y value would be 9 over 5. So the original point on the parent function would be 30 and 9 over 5. However, that's not what this question was asking for. Uh, this point was on the parent function, then we had to find the transform point, but just be aware, some questions, if you're teacher wants to be a little bit more tricky and tough on the test, they'll give you the point on the transform function. You have to go backwards. All you do is you make that x and y coordinate equal to the actual formula, the, um, the mapping formula for both the x and the y values. And then you solve for the original x and y's and you get it on the parent function. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.